In this video, we are going to learn about immediate panel. Myself Rakesh and I welcome you to Expo Hub Automation World Channel. So what is an immediate panel and how do I use it? Okay. So the very first point that one should know the immediate panel is only visible during debugging. During your debugging mode, this is visible. Okay. So what is the use of immediate panel? So in my previous video, I was talking about the watch panel, right? So you must have got an understanding of the watch panel. If not, please do watch my previous video and then you can watch this one. So let's see about the immediate panel. So what this immediate panel do? How do I utilize? It's something we are going to see. So for that, let me stop this. And to, to understand this immediate panel, all you do is create a simple workflow just like I have done it. So I have taken assign activity to assign activities and I have created a variable called first variable is equal to 10, second variable is equal to 20, integer type variable. And here I'm just summing it up and I'm showing a message box. That's all. Very simple one. Now with this, in the message box, I have applied a breakpoint. So click on the breakpoint and it should be completely red. So the breakpoint is applied and all you do start running this in debug mode. Okay. Now what happens? The execution will continue and exactly wherever in your project you have a breakpoint is going to pause it there. So this is necessary that you pause so that you can utilize your immediate panel, right? Otherwise, there is no point. So you have to pause it somewhere in your entire project. So at certain point, you want to check certain values uh, and you want to pause it. Okay. So you paused it. So in this example, I'm pausing it in the message box. So now using the immediate panel, let's say uh, I wanted to understand uh, what does the first variable uh, what is the data of the first variable so what i will do all you do in the immediate panel there is a sp space over here to type okay so keep your mouse pointer and start typing the variable name let's say first variable i want to know so type the first variable and hit on enter so what it does until here whatever the activities has been executed already so it remembers the history so it, it, it remembers the past data until this, whatever the variable has been executed. So it remembers all the data. So let's say I wanted to understand what kind of data type the first variable holds, for example, let's say. So I'm going to type the variable name dot and if I can type an expression also. So I can type dot get type. Okay, so I'm going to select get type and hit on enter all you do is hit on enter so you can see it is immediately telling me this variable is a system dot in 32 type kind of a data so this gives you a flexibility to understand until now whatever the execution has happened so it remembers entire history and you can check anything that you need so the watch panel gives you the entire history uh, what are the value it contains type but again this one could be you can be more choosy to see which one you wanted to check so you can type what you wanted to see type it hit on enter and you can see it and let's say you want to clear it okay let's say i want to clear this entire panel so i can click on right click and clear all okay so let's say i want to see the variable result okay so if i hit on enter type so what is say it what it's saying result 30 what if i type result dot two string let's say i want to type so i will say result dot two string okay so i'm typing now you will see it it let lets you type an expression and understand what kind of data it will change to if i do this or if i apply this code right so immediate panel is for that you can be very very selective and you can choose what you wanted to even that can be done in the watch panel also you can add and see but here it gives you an extra flexibility to type right it gives you an extra flexibility to type and understand you can type your expression and understand what is the data type or what kind of data it contains so you can see that so this is a system dot in 32 kind of a variable so all this is available on the immediate panel so i hope this video must have helped you so uh, thank you for watching if you liked this video make sure to subscribe for more such content Please do not forget, click on the subscribe button because that is where you would stay up to date with the recent content that we upload almost every day. So please do subscribe and please do like the video. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day.